Hey guys, Betty Infos here. As you know, on this channel I mainly do 100% walkthroughs. I go into detail on how to complete the missions the most interesting, fastest and best ways. A week ago I completed my Bullyery Scholarship Edition 100% walkthrough and today I decided to give you a short informational video with a 100% checklist. Here I'll discuss everything you need to know about the game, how you should start your own playthrough, I'll give you some pointers, tell you what you should avoid doing and what order you should do the missions in. Completing only the main story missions is not enough in order to get 100%. There are also many side missions scattered around the whole map. In my walkthrough I cover every aspect of getting 100% completion, but here I'll show you the whole list of requirements. This guide will be for all versions of the game, the original Bully, Bully the Scholarship Edition and Bully the Anniversary Edition. The differences are small, but I'll make sure to mention them. If you don't see a task listed here like detentions, dodgeball, wrestling and more, it means that it's not required and you don't need to ask in the comment sections. There aren't listed here for a reason. So with all that said, let's begin the 100% requirements. Number 1. The Main Story Missions There are exactly 54 main storyline missions in the game and you need to complete them all, starting from Welcome to Bullworth and finishing it off with Final Showdown. Number 2. The Side Story Missions There are exactly 24 side story missions in the Scholarship and the Anniversary Editions, but only 16 in the original Bully. This includes all side missions which have a story attached to them. Number 3. The School Classes We have 10 classes in the Scholarship and Anniversary Editions, but only 6 in the original Bully. You need to reach and complete level 5 for each one. Getting a 100% completion in each class is not required for 100% overall game completion. The classes are Chemistry, where you have to match the buttons shown on the screen, English, where you have to form words with the letters they give you, Art, where you paint the painting, Gym, where you fight classmates or play dodgeball. Shop, where you tune a bike. Photography, where you take pictures around town. The last four classes of list don't apply to the original Bully, but for the other two editions. Biology, where you dissect animals. Music, where just like chemistry you mash the buttons on the screen. Geography, where you choose the locations of countries and states. And finally math, where you do math. Number 4. The Errands There are 50 errands in the game. For 100% on the Scholarship Edition you need to complete them all, you need 41 for the other editions. Number 5. The Arcade Games There are 5 arcade games in Bully, however only 3 are required for 100%. The ones we need are Consumo, where you need 1011 points or more to win in the original and the scholarship edition and 801 points in the anniversary edition. Nutshot, where you need 69,900 points to win. And finally Monkey Flink, where you need 334 points to win. Number 6. The Carnival Activities In the carnival you need to use each carnival ride at least once. They are the Big Cannon Railway, the Big Squid and the Ferris Wheel. You also need to win all 4 carnival games at least once, which are Strike Out, High Striker, Splish Splash and the Shooting Range. And finally you need to get 350 tickets and redeem every single item from the carnival shop. Number 7. The Collectibles We have to collect 7 different things in the game. All locations will be in my walkthrough video of course. Collect all 75 rubber bands, all 40 GNG cards, smash all 25 garden gnomes, all 25 pumpkins, all 19 tombstones, collect all 6 transistors and deliver them to the bum so you can learn all fighting moves. And finally collect all pictures in the yearbook album by finding all the listed students. 
Number 8, the minigames. We have 7 minigames and we need to complete them all. They are the go-kart races, win all 8 for 100%, win all 14 bike races, complete all 3 levels for the 2 lawn mowing jobs, 3 levels at the park and 3 levels at the house, complete all 4 levels of the paper route jobs, win all 5 boxing matches, win a game of penalty shots, and finally win a game of key pups. Number 9. The Miscellaneous Tasks We have 11 dumb tasks in the game and you need to complete them all. They are Purchase all clothing items from the 4 clothing shops in the game. After Halloween, pick any lockers until you get your hands on the werewolf mask and the bandit mask. Unlock all 40 trophies in your dorm room in the scholarship and anniversary editions or just 36 in the original bully. This is done passively so you don't need to worry about it. Beat up the secret pirate on the island next to a shipwreck. Travel 100 kilometers on foot. Travel 100 kilometers on a bike. Buy 100 sodas. Drink 500 sodas. Pull any fire alarm 20 times. Fail any 5 glasses and finally get 1000 projectile hits. And this completes the 100% checklist for all Bully editions. Now I'll show you the best order of completion with no spoilers. When you start off Bully, you're presented with a mission right off the bat. You need to complete that first mission in order to get the ability to save the game. I suggest passing the first two missions, however, since the school won't be available if you don't. After completing the mission This Is Your School, you gain access to a few classes. Right off the bat, you should complete all five levels of art since you get double health when kissing someone, chemistry to get infinite items from your chemistry set in your dorm room, and lastly, English so you can apologize to people including police officers when you do something bad. The rest of the classes available don't really give you any useful benefits so you can just ignore them for now. You can continue the storyline after completing the mission this setup, all gym classes become available so I suggest you pass them all since one of the rewards is the very much needed better weapon accuracy. If you're struggling for money and want to purchase some expensive clothes like mine then I suggest you complete a few matches of dodge Ball. The payout is huge with no effort and you should grind it out now so you can use the money as you continue the story. Continue the main storyline and complete the mission A Little Help in which you'll be tasked to collect and deliver a transistor to a hobo. In turn you'll learn a new fighting move. If you wanna learn 3 more moves then right after this mission I suggest you glitch yourself as shown in my walkthrough video to the other areas, collect 3 more transistors, bring them back to the hobo and learn your moves. There's nothing else we need in chapter 1, so might as well get it over with and unlock chapter 2. As soon as you do, you can go to the school basement and get the fifth radio part. This can also be done in the last mission of chapter 1, but once you get it, travel to the hobo and learn a new move. With chapter 2, you also unlock a few new classes. The ones I suggest passing are geography, so you get all collectibles marked on your map if you decide to collect them now, and of course, shop so you get access to the best bike in the game. Continue doing main story missions until you get introduced to a carnival tent in the carnival date mission. After you beat it, I suggest winning 75 tickets by playing minigames so you can purchase the scooter from the carnival tent. One of the fastest modes of transportation in the game. Is there something faster though? There sure is. Complete every single go-kart race, yes, even the street ones. For the ones in the locked off areas, you can just glitch yourself as shown before. After you win all races, you get access to the fastest vehicle in the game. Afterwards, you can complete the prep challenge to unlock the boxing matches and a new safe house. Start and complete all 4 boxing matches. Doing so gives you more punch damage which you can use until the end of the game. Continue the main storyline until you reach the Santa Claus missions which are available only in the scholarship and anniversary editions. Complete the mission Ruri the Red Nose Santa. I hope you're following along and did not complete any photography classes because if you pass photography 4 before beating this mission, congratulations your camera will be glitched forever so beat this mission and then pass the 5 levels of photography. Doing so unlocks the photo album which you can do whenever you like because 
people who disappear later on are out of field in there. And honestly this is pretty much it for the order, just complete the main storyline and do the remaining side story missions whenever you like to. They don't provide any useful benefits so there's no rush to beat them. And once you have passed all the main storyline missions and all the side missions, congratulations, you are 100% complete. There is no reward for 100% unfortunately except for an achievement so there's nothing to show off here. If this sounded too confusing to you guys then make sure to watch my 100% walkthrough where I give an in-depth explanation about every single mission and side activity in the game. And lastly, if you found this video useful I encourage you to rate it accordingly and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials and the walkthroughs. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons Chaos Player X, Monish Pradeep, Alex Chavez, FZO, Max Robinson, LMP Racing, House the Chowder, Max Rich, Smokeo and everyone else on the screen. Thank you so much.